Hey guys, how's it going? We are back with another FIFA 17 career mode experiment video. Today being, as you can tell by our title, Spanish teams in the Premier League. <coughs> yeah, that's right, we've gone back to what we used to do. Transfer the three best teams from each league into the Premier League and see how it goes. Um, so basically what we've done here is swapped out Middlesbrough, Hull and Sunderland as they are the lowest teams in the Premier League and we swap them with obviously your Atletico Madrid and your Real Madrid and Barcelona etc etc and to do that <coughs> as we always do we're going to use a different team in the league that is not going to be fighting for that title today we selected Palace this is probably the fourth different team we used but we are going to be using Crystal Palace for, the, for this experiment just to prove that there is no bias, no nothing like that towards it that can inflict on any of the results but, and potentially um, well basically you get in the way so you, you can see there's no bias I can't get involved in any way, you just sim the games as we always do and see how they get on um, I suppose today I've got high expectations. I mean, you look at the three teams we're putting in there, pretty basically world class. You've got Barcelona, are one of the best teams in the world. You've got Real Madrid, 10 times European champions in the final this year, possibly an 11th title this year. We'll find if they. Wait, have they already got 11? I can never remember anymore. I've lost count. They just keep winning in these days. But no, you've got them. 11, possibly 12. Depends on what, how many they won. I can't remember. I'll find out in a minute. But you've got them. And then you've got Atletico Madrid. One of the... Be un well, for the last few seasons. They've definitely stepped it up. It used to be just a two-man league, really. But now, obviously, Atletico are suddenly back in the fight. Um, but yeah, so either, either way, basically, three best teams in the league and three of the best teams in the world right now. I'm expecting something pretty exciting from these three teams. I mean, my guess for the end of this video would be Real Madrid probably first, Barcelona third, Atletico fifth. Is my, that's my prediction. That's the way I think it's going to go. Because obviously I've got the other teams like Chelsea, like Man United, like City. I won't see Arsenal because they won't do anything. Or if anything they'll finish 7th like they are right now. But, yeah. Um, so that's that. We all know what we do. We're going to sit. Obviously, show you the table. As we get Madrid at 2nd. Barca's 8th. And Real Madrid are down there in 13. That's how that stays right now. Of course, what we always do is go to the seasons and, well, to be fair, let's just do it. August, skip all the way through to the 1st of January. And we'll just see how we get on. I'm hoping I'm going to do alright. I'm hoping my prediction might come true. But there's going to be at least, I think it's. I remember the prediction, Rodrid first, Barcelona third, Atletico fifth, but the way I see it, I think one of the Spanish teams will win the league, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, that would be my honest prediction, who knows how it's going to turn out, as I'm swimming, starting the simulation now, who knows how it's going to turn out, we'll find out shortly, so we'll be back in January. Okay, so here we are, approaching January, and um, we're basically just going to check the league stats and all that, as we do at this point in the season, as we create the latest fixture after, after beating Real Madrid 3-2. Interesting result there, well done United, that's what I like to see. But here are the stats currently, top goal scorers are Sanchez with 9 and Mkhitaryan with 9. Um, Ronaldo's obviously up there, he's got 7, Morrison's got 8, that's a bit weird, so Walters has got 8. Uh, Lukaku is there with 7. Gamero has got 6. Um, 
Messi is up there with five. He's probably top of the goal score, the thingy charts, assist charts. Uh, Carrasco assists six. Ebro's got five. Um, Neymar's there, he's got four. Um, Ronaldo. Ronaldo's got three. Do, do, do. Gamero's got three. McCarthy. Um, okay, but he's got three. Um, and yeah, that's it for that. Clean sheets, we look at Casilla for Real Madrid's got six. Again, not very questionable. Casilla playing and not never. Okay then. Checks up there with five. Gomez has got five. Courtois has got five. De Gea is on four. Sturson is on four. Oblak's on four. Murray is on two. And that completes that lineup. Okay, so now we're going to go in and check the power fix. Other fixtures, or other tables even, and then we're going to finish off the day table. But we're going to do that now. Fate. Ah, oh, fuck off. Okay, so the EFL Cup hasn't quite hit the final yet. But surprisingly, guys, <coughs> we're actually in the semi-final. Um, once again, this is 100% completely seemed I haven't played a single game. Um, but that's interesting to see we have made the final, semi-final and we're there against Burnley, who just knocked out United. Um, no Spanish team really made it to that round. Either way. Yeah, no Spanish team made it to that round. That's a bit of a shock. But it's not a big one, guys. The Premier League coming up next. And here it is Arsenal are currently in top of the league with 40 points. Real Madrid there in second with 38. Atletico there with 34. Barcelona, shockingly, are down in ninth. Ninth place with 26 points. They really have not performed this season. Oh my days. They're currently sitting nine points behind at um, United in third. Eight points behind at Atletico. And 14 points behind Arsenal. Okay, that's interesting. I was not expecting this. Unfortunately, down there in the bottom. We are going to be currently getting relegated. We're well, whoop. Oh no, 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 no. This is too much to take. Oh wow. Man City there, one point above the relegation zone. Tell me they're not going to get. That's going to be interesting, guys, to watch out. So, whoop. You've got to definitely stick around for that now. You can't leave this video early. You've got to stick around for the end of this episode just to see whether Man City are actually going to end up going, getting relegated. Alright, this is going to be an interesting development. So, let's get this underway quickly. I want to see how this unfolds. So, what we want to be doing is going straight across all the way to June the 1st. Come on, let's see what the, what the outcome of this table is. Let's see if Man City are going to be relegated. Okay, guys, I'll meet you in June. Okay, this is it, guys. We've just finished our final game of the season against Man United. Tough set of fixtures there, City, Barcelona and United all in the last final month of the season. But that's it, the season's officially over, done, completed. All I've left to do is finish the, the simulation into the 1st of June, as we've just done now. I'll say now, now we've done it. So now, guys, it's time. We're soon going to be finding out how we got on the league table. First of all, as we always do, we start off with player stats. <coughs> okay, so... Mkhitaryan there finished 19 goals for the season, top goal scorer. What a season he's had! Ah, oh, funny he could have played that there this season for United, but he's still playing sick. He played sick the comp last night against Andlet. He had one of the best games. So did Rashford, of course. He always does. 
Bell's uh, 16 goals for the season. Gamero's got 14. Sanchez with 14. Aguero's got 13. Messi's got 12. Marshall and Eber are both on 12. Oh, and Eber's on 11 even. Suarez with 11. Neymar's got 11. Hazard's got 10. Griezmann's got 10. Popper's got 10. Some high scoring. Yeah. Assists. Top is. Carrasco, he's got 9. Eva's got 8. Um, Atletico Madrid. Gamero's got 7. Messi's 6. Neymar's 6. They're doing alright. Mkhitaryan's uh, got 5. I think that might just do it. Oh, Martial's there at the bottom of 5 as well. Okay, clean sheets. Check, finished with 11, as did the Hair. So that yeah, makes them joint golden glove. Schmeichel's got 9. Casillas got eight, Navas got seven, Our Black's got seven, Louise with seven, Testegan's got six, Citizen's got six, Bravo got five, not a surprise there because his saving goal to saving ratio is shit. At one point this season, didn't he have like seven, sh oh, he seven shots on target went in against him? That's pretty bad for a goalkeeper. No, I don't understand why they bought him and got rid of Gerard, but that's City's problem to deal with. I can care less because it means they're not doing so great, which is what I love to see. But either way, guys, here we go. Table time. Let's find out. Okay, so we start with the FA Cup. Man United have won that. They beat Atletico Madrid. Atletico got to the semi final. Beats. West Brom and Semis beat West Ham, beat Sheffield Wednesday, United beat Watford, they beat Leeds, and they beat City. Oh, that's good. I always love it when we beat City. And then we've won it, FA Cup, two times in a row now. Man United have won that, technically, think, thinking about it. So we move on to the EFL Cup. Oh, Crystal, we won it. Palace won it. We beat Burnley 5 2 in the Semis, and we went on and beat. Everton 1 0 in the final. What a great day for us. We've seen every other game and we've won the title, or the EFL Cup even. But now, guys, I haven't seen this. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It is the reveal of the BPL final result. In 3, 2, 1. Just kidding. It's the Confed Cup. Um, that's just starting, so you won't see any of this. Now, guys, this time I'm not kidding. We are in it. It'll be the BPO result, the reveal in 3, 2, 1, boom. They, as you can see, they're looking at that. We don't even have won it. They've done it beaten by a point. It beat Ar Oh, sorry, wrong button. They have beat Arsenal by a point. There's only one point in it. Goal they would have smashed Arsenal on goal difference, so. Like they've scored 13 more goals than Arsenal, but either way, they've done it. They've, Man United have won the league. Very surprising indeed. Obviously, as you know, that's gone completely against my prediction. I thought it would have been the Spanish team who win it. But in a way, I got it got part of it right because I did say Barcelona would be third, but in fact, Real Madrid third. So technically, I've got the Spanish side of that place right. But as you see, Barcelona finished seventh. Three points away from fifth and four away from Atlantic Madrid in fourth to claim the Champions League spots. So as you can see there guys, there was actually between from Barcelona at 61 points and seventh, there's only a four point gap between seventh and fourth. That's not a lot when you think about it. That's pretty that's pretty close. Um, but they've all had good seasons, all the Spanish teams have good have had good seasons. Unfortunately though, guys, we haven't actually had the funny surprise relegation. Man City, he did manage to jump up the table and survive. They've, they've gone from being on 20 points to 49 and just destroyed it. So, uh, another good thing though is, guys, Palace, our team, we've sort of taken over for this season. We have survived relegation, but they're in the 16th. And it's in fact, Burnley, Bournemouth and Watford who get relegated this year. Okay guys, so... 
I'm pretty sure that wraps it up. United have won the league. Real Madrid, Atletico both take their last two Champions League places on offer. Chelsea missed out and take the Europa League. Palace have won the EFL Cup. United have won the FA Cup. I don't think there's much more to say that. that so do that then. About, apart from that, guys. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, do be a massive legend and hit that like button down below. And if you want to see any more of these videos, then please leave or subscribe to this channel for more. Turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss an up upload. And guys, I reiterate, reiterate, if there is a Grimad experiment video you want to see, do leave a comment below. And you can wait to see this on this channel. But guys, that's all for now. You've been a great audience. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Peace out.